All right, here we are with Metro Bridge uh, Basketball, Boys Basketball here at the Copio Media Day. Uh, first of all, guys, introduce yourself, and then we'll get to some questions. So, I'm Seton Mullins. Coach Wickline. Case Wickline. And I'm Connor Okay, guys, first of all, um, I know uh, Seton and Connor, you guys both played football. Seton, how do you think playing football will uh, help you as far as basketball goes this year? Uh, we put up a lot of, like, stamina. We're just pretty in shape. I would imagine with being, I don't know how many times you carried the ball against Trail the night I saw you guys, yeah. which was uh, quite an incredible amount of times. Uh, Connor, how are you playing? Is it, do you see the toughness, the physicality helping you? Uh, yeah, you know, I always thought Metro Bridge was just a, a physical football team, so I think the physicality will help uh, team chemistry. We all play together in football, so that'll help along the lines. Coach, how do you see this team improving this year? I think we'll be a lot more consistent. Um, I think we'll give ourselves a lot better opportunities to win ball games. You know, last year we had our chances to win quite a few ball games. You know, we got beat, I think, five times on last second shots. Uh, Seaton, what are your expectations for this season? Uh, just win more games than we did last year. I don't think we're capable of doing that. Uh, Connor, what are your expectations this year? I expect us to be uh, you know, a quick, versatile team. Uh, we have a lot of quickness on the team, so some big guys that can get up and down the court, uh, forwards and guards that can get up and down the court. So that, I think that's going to be our strength this year. Coach, do you see Meadow Bridge getting, uh, making big strides this year as far as, I mean, record and, and, and in the region, section and region? I do. Um, we really beefed up the schedule during the off season. We picked up James Monroe. We've got Nicholas County. Clay County, so I think those are games that's really going to help us. Not to mention, you know, Greenbrier West, Midland Trail, and Summers County. So I think we're going to be very well prepared when it comes turn to time. See, are you excited to play a team like James Monroe that's coming off the state championship uh, year? A lot of guys, a lot of people think Eli Allen might be the best player um, in the state of West Virginia. Is that a, a game like that excite you? Yeah, it, it excites me a decent amount. I just want to see how uh, well we can keep up with them. See, uh, O'Connor, does that be, be intrigued to see how you guys can play against a, a James yeah. Monroe team? I, I think it's really going to test our capabilities. You know, it will really show us where we are along the lines of improving and show us what we need to work on. Um, Metro Bridge has kind of always been a football school, I think, ever since uh, Coach McClinic was there. And you guys are both uh, football players. What, what's your, uh, what's your um, favorite sport? As far as uh, sports go, senior, are you a football guy or you're a basketball guy? What is it? I think we we'll have to go with football for the physicality part of it. So Love you it. we was favoring the football? Yeah. Connor? I don't know. It's a toss-up for me. You know, I get a lot of enjoyment out of both of them. So. Um, Coach, you see the, are you going to be able to you see change some um, minds in Metal Bridge and make it a basketball school at some point? Uh, you know, I've heard that. I don't really look. But I know at, you coach football too, as well. Yeah, and I've you know I've heard basketball schools, football schools. I don't I don't look at it like that. We're Meadowbridge High School, and most of the kids that play football play basketball. That's just how it is. It's how it's always been. So I've never looked at it as a football school as opposed to a basketball school. I think we're all in it together. See, what can this team do this year? Say, you've been at it a couple of weeks here now. What are your um, goals for this team? Uh, just take it one game at a time. Try to win each game. Connor, do you have any goals for the, for the squad? Uh, I agree with him. We just, you know, come into practice every week and uh, accomplish the things we need to. And I think the rest of it will play out the way it should. You guys like the new balls they're using this year? They still have orange. Kind of look like pumpkins. I don't like the collar. <laughs> I don't like the collar. I think. I think uh, I'm used to it because of the Spalding before the, uh, or the um, Wilson before the Spalding, but I think it's it's comfortable in my hand. Coach, I mean, it, it, to be running a program, you know, you got to purchase all new balls. I would assume that's the part that gets the coach, right? Yeah, not the I didn't necessary... like the price. Did um, not like the price of the balls at all. I mean, they, you look at those, and you, I mean, do you outfit your team with enough to go through a layup line? I mean, that's a that's a whole fundraiser at least. Maybe yeah. two in some places. Well, lucky for us, um, President Mar Booster is Floyd Duncan. He run our concession for football season. The man done a great job. If it wasn't for him, I mean, we have plenty of money to buy that kind of stuff, and it's 100% because of him. 
Well, guys, I appreciate the time today, and uh, good luck this season. Uh, we'll be seeing you on Wednesday for some photos. Right, thank you.